let us discuss about how to find center of gravity of irregular bodies center of gravity of irregular bodies take a different shape like this it is not a regular shape and i want to know the what is center of gravity of this planar surface now take a stand a retarding stand retarding stand with a balance like this a balancing rod now make a hole here and keep this plank through this hole like this you know understand so this planar surface is fixed to this retarding stand using this rod now when this planar surface is stable then take a scale draw a straight line from this point say this is uh, a now take the same surface take another point any point you can take another point you can take the point from here 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 any one point you can take suppose you turn it you turned now this time same surface turned okay you can make a hole take a straight line take a scale and draw a straight line say so let the point is b so initially we have taken point a say this is point a this is point b line see two lines are intersecting now again you turn the plank take any other side again draw the straight line by adjusting to the stand say you have taken this point c and draw a line now what happened the three lines are intersecting at one point and this point is called center of gravity so to find the center of gravity of irregular bodies this is the method you have to use okay here i'm trying to explain you about how to find the location of the center of gravity based on mass distribution there is a box with 15 marbles and this 15 marbles evenly distributed so if i ask what is center of gravity of this box you can say that center of gravity from this point this is the center of gravity you okay, can this is exactly the center of the box now see the next stage the same box the same size have taken but this time these are 15 marbles this time 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 now if you ask the question that where is the center of gravity and if you say it is exactly at the center of the box it is wrong because center of gravity always shifts towards the more mass side so in this box this side have more mass so therefore the center of gravity will be somewhere here so even though the box is a regular shape center of gravity is not exact at the center it depends upon the mass distribution which side you have the more the mass that side is the center of gravity will be okay now we discuss about how the center of gravity decide the stability of a body see the first figure figure 1 here the body is stable rest on the table and then the center of gravity exact the center of the rectangular box acting and the weight is acting downward it is stable this is stable now see this example here in this figure 2 the center of gravity line if you see this line this line passing to the base passing to the base of the box that means it is in topple condition so i applied some force and make the body to turn and i release the force then what happened the box will fall to the other side or it will come back to the initial stage like this the answer is yes it come back to the initial stage because the center of gravity line is passing to the base of the box so it is it come back to the stable condition now coming to this one 
figure 3. Here the center of gravity line is not passing to the base of the box. It is, it is actually beyond the base. So this is the base. It is beyond the base. When it is beyond the base, what happens? The center of gravity makes the body to turn in this direction. So that it is an unstable situation. So it won't come back to stable in like initial position. It will go to the other position. So if the body want to come to stable location, the center of gravity line should pass through the base of the body. If it go beyond the base of the body, it won't be in the stable condition, it will be unstable and it will go to the other location. And second point, if you want to make a body to be stable, the area of contact should be larger. Like, see this one, take a bottle, see the bottle area of contact, see the area of contact. Now see another bottle, see the area of contact. If you see the area of contact is A1, if area of contact is A2, you understand that A1 is greater than A2. As a mo more area of contact, it is more stable. As less area of contact is less stable. So, to make the body to be in stable conditions, two points are important. One is area of contact is larger and second one is the center of gravity line should pass through the base of the body.